That was close! Now what? We can't stay as long as those meddlers are here! We must leave Alexandria! Hello and welcome to Final Fantasy IX with me, the one and only Legendary Gaming Dragon, your host and narrator for today. Last episode, I did something. I don't remember what I did, but I did something. And now we will start this episode as well. I do hope you've had a lovely day and even if you didn't, you will be having one now. With me. That should be lag, you know. One second. Okay. It appears that today, Final Fantasy IX is just having one of those days. The one where it appears to be... It's gonna be a laggy episode, apparently. I do apologize, but what can you really do, anyway? Let's start off by talking to this uh, walrus guy. Oh. Never mind, that's just 27 gil. Now let's talk to the walrus guy. Am I even gonna talk to him? Last night's play was great. I'm so glad I pushed myself to make a great sign for it. Yeah, that was a Russian walrus guy from episode 1. <laughs> how long ago was that, anyway? Welcome to my bar. Okay, how about you, Zidane? Still... Dopey, I see. Well, that's it, really, for the bar we left off at last time. Now we continue outside, and the penguin guy arriving our arrival. I don't have any work where any air or some event going in town. Please tell me if someone is hiring. I play mean trumpets. Yes, that is a very mean trumpet indeed. Please, sir, stop, stop disturbing the peace. Oh, Grandma said she would make a rush for Ilya. I was taking forever to finish it. Hmm. Well, what's over here anyway? To the right side of town. Oh, an active time event. It's so big. What's so big? Oh, it's Eiko. Why did the music stop? Oh my. Oh my. What a gigantic house! I can't see the inside! We- we cook good food. Hey! Something smells delicious! You hungry? Mm. Yes. You very hungry? Mm. Yes. My, the music, no, music is so weird. You unbelievably hung, unbearably hungry. Well, that's a lot of hungries right now. I couldn't ever imagine being unbearably hungry. Actually, never mind, I have been unbear unbearably hungry before. Too bad. What jerks? No? Well, at least the music's back. The sound's back, I mean. Listen, isn't the new queen a little young? Personally, I think General Beatrix would make a better queen. Oh. This queen is a bit demanding. Her? I'm the queen. My orders are absolute. Hey, what does absolute mean? Yep. Uh. My son plays too many card games. He needs to exercise. Do you mind racing his hip ball? I don't mind. Sure. Okay, let's start. Hmm. A little mini game on the side, no? When I say go, press X and B alternatively. When I mark, get set, go. I can do this all day. We <coughs> lagged. Vivi wins! Both of which could be possible at the same time. Good job. I'd rather not. I think you should exercise too. 
<laughs> and you, son of Hippo? Oh, I don't like one. Oh, what a strange thing. Wasn't there a. Yep, is this, there? Yes, there was. The grandma. I stole some money from la in the first episode. He isn't, he isn't finished yet. Oh. I think there's one more. No, not here. Little boy? Yeah! Uh, okay. Right, anything anything of interest right here? How about you, little child? Do you think Prince Agarnas is in love? Hmm, quite possibly. Maybe. I wonder if a boy and girl standing over there are lovers. Standing over where? Who's this guy? Oh, statue. Heroin statue. The statue was built to commemorate General Madeline. Madeline, yep, Madeline. Who fought in the Ninth Limblum War in 1389. At the tender age of 13, General Madeline fought against the Limblum army, army with only 9 soldiers under her command. She died in 1401, well before her time. What a feat, no? Now, how about this guy? He said to meet me here, but he's late. Hmm, wonder who that is. Walking half time by yourself is dangerous. This gate leads outside. Can I go outside? I cannot. Figure as much. How about I think I've seen this guy before? She's late. I wonder if she ditched me. I see. And there was a thing back here if I remember correctly. Well, seems like it was only a uh, an item. Nothing of interest right here, so I'll go back and actually do the thing. Let's oh, an act an active time event. No long time no see. Who is this? Steiner, I guess. Nope. Been a long time, been a long time. Been a while. Where have you been? We were worried. Sorry, I've been training. Training? Yeah, training. Training for what? Tell us. It was... Well, that's strange. And a cat. Can't say I had a cat, huh? I've been looking to play against an experienced car player. No, I don't think I will. For all the side quests, that is one I am not doing. Alright, weapons guy. Welcome. No, this is shop guy. Uh, nothing else of importance. That was a rather quick shop visit. And continuing on our way, but that was a, that was, that was a sign right there. Another active time event. Up to Mickon to fly high, to fly high, why not? Seems done, done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it. He's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. The morning is in love with the Queen. Did he think it worked out? I'm sure he thought about that a lot. That's why he's in turmoil. He looks so depressed. Yeah. But it's something he needs to deal with head on. This is gonna make him stronger. He'll see. Let's hope so. Oh, another one. Still active. Atramikin. Uh, however it's pronounced, apparently. Oh, rat kid. No. Ooh. That's one weird moogle. That's one weird moogle. Purple stripes. And I thought I've, I'd seen them all. Hmm, guess he has a letter. Oh, that's his name apparently. Arthur McMissian. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, Silken, long time not see. Hey, Arthur McMissian, why does your coat look so shiny? Well, it's none of my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Uh, of course I have. Are you sure that you delivered all my mail to my friends? Of course I did. You sent out three. But what about the other three? Oh, dear. That's one terrible delivery guy. And this lovely couple. 
Do you think Princess Garnet will be a good queen? Uh, yes, I think so. I'm sure Princess Garnet will do a fine job. Are you here to see the new queen too? Hmm, what's... anything? Hmm, right, right, right. Oh, the flowers are gone. A lot of things happened during Queen Bronze reign, but overall it was a good time for us. That's why you put together a wreath made of those roses for her gravestone. But why so little flowers left here? Yeah, that shop right there. Take a booth open. Now it's closed. Oh, the jumping uh, girls are gone. There's something. No, it's not. Let's go into the hotel. See if anything's new there. Oh, lots of people. Uh, what do you mean? We use a room for 100 gil for three nights. Uh, uh, no, it's actually 100 gil per night. I chose this scene because I heard it was 100 gil for three nights. Yeah, let's just pay 300 gil and stay at this inn. Well, um, it's coronation week, so the rate is 120 per gil per night. What? What, what kind of business are you running here? He's shaky. He's making such a scene. I'm so embarrassed right now. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. You think so too? That it? You think so too? Oh, what should we do? We can't back down now. What is going on here? Hmm, anything in this hallway? Same as ever? No. Wonder what that's all about. And of course, up. These hallways over here. Nothing. And this one led to a balcony. Mm. And this one led to a balcony. Right. Looks like I'm going over the first episode again. Quite useless in many ways. But it helps to overall it helps overall to get the feel for the area. Let's go into the shop. Who are you? Tomsmore, where did my son go? He's always playing with his cat. Probably by the docks. Let's see what this shop's all about. And the guy the go the guy is there. We look alike, but inside we are very different. I haven't seen my brother in ages. Family's precious. Mm. You were a weapons guy, right? Just a strange man hanging around my shop. Well, let's see what else this shop has. Ooh, I'm having today. Hmm. Let's hope I have access to the shop later on as well, I guess. When I actually have some money to spend. And not go into debt. 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 Hmm. Strange word, anyway. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is a... What is this, anyway? The boat to the castle is currently out of service. Wasn't this the castle gates, though? Yep. I thought these were the castle gates. How strange. Well, that leaves the docks as the only other place to go to. Frankly, it's logical that we continue there. Oh, right, this alley comes beforehand. Who is man, Megan? How can I calm her down? Yo, Vivi! Can you do me a favor? Uh, what, what is it? I want you to see Ruby's play with us. Walk around some more. Too bad. Hmm. I'll come back here after a minute. Don't exactly want to trigger something and go on to the next. Why is the cabin next place? I can't miss it. Ran away. You sure about that, kid? Oh, what's here? Hmm. A uh, charity, I guess. Nothing up there. 
Hi, I've been tra traveling. I haven't seen you in a while. Anything of interest up here? Nope. Well, we can go to the church or we can go to the docks. Either one works. I don't know what to serve after the new queen's coronation festivities. Oh, I wish the chef that cooked for Prince Garden Party Party would come back. Hmm. I've been mad see up the lab, but lately I've been considering piling airships. Prison says a limited better than airship that can fly without me. I just can't believe that. I wonder if they'll land me on that airship when I go to Limblum. Well, you have a criminal past, though. So maybe not. Ooh. Do you know who Mr. Sid's wife? No. Mr. Sid's wife is the very stubborn woman. Yes. Okay, then. Hmm. Easy enough, I guess. Anything down here? Okay, now we go to the church. No, it wasn't the church, it was the chapel. Nope. The, um, bell tower? Magnets. Of Koopa letter. My big brother sent, sent me a letter, Koopa. Where has he been? I've been worried. From Koopa to Koopa. Also, room is very comfortable. I like it here, Koopa. People are hiding and sick every day. The most important things in life are, are to work hard and play hard, Koopa. I'm glad my big brother is doing well, Koopa. I'm just a little bit far. Let's read it. From Mogrika to Koopa. Even Moogles want to look beautiful. I use my special item very carefully. You don't come across it very often. It's very special to me, Koopa. Oh, so they're from Mogrika. The most beautiful Moogle in the world. What a pleasant surprise, Koopa. Oh, uh, most beautiful Moogle in the world? Hmm, what a strange title. Let's save. Okay, that was saving. Let's talk to Stiltskin. Oh, right, he's back from his adventures, apparently. I thought I saw you, but you, but you already have them. Hmm. How about you? I'm Arthur, Arthur Mika, the, the Magnet Mailman. Hmm, Magnet Mailman? You're asking me why I don't deliver mail properly? I, I can't tell you. Can I use any of them? No, I can't use the high potion. And, and frankly, I don't have the guilt to buy them either. Hm. Let's go up and get this cat for him. Mittens, as it was. Pull rope. I also wonder if there's a secret thing for pulling the rope enough times. Because that was it. And now we go to the theater. Mini theater, actually. To be specific. <laughs> Don't know why I'm tired. But let's go. Yo, baby, can you do me a favor? What is it? I want to see Ruby's play with us. Sure, I like plays. Cool. Go down the staircase behind us. That's where Ruby Theater is. Bro. You and Ruby really don't get along very well. And down the theater we go. What? Blank! Don't you know I hate it when you're late? How many times do I gotta tell you? Huh? Who are you? Strange, kind of. Hey, Vivi. Hey, Vivi. Is he a friend of yours, Sina? Uh, hello, hello, Uncle Sina. Uncle. I'm not old enough to be a young uncle. I'm younger than I look. <laughs> You're a funny one there. I like you. Wanna see my little play, my play little fella? Uh, um, yeah. Oh, what a sweetie. I like you even more. We'll get rolling in a minute. Sit, sit wherever you are. 
Just a cutscene? To play? I guess so. I don't think your plan works. Ain't nothing to do it. Blank. We'll talk later. Busted. <laughs> Let's see the show that's put on today in this play. Oh, apparently we're going to a castle with Dagger. Steiner. Yes, princess. Um, um, I'd like to find Zidane and talk to him. Princess, you have more important matters at hand. You live in a different world now. I mean, the wind is quite strong. It's pushing in, in pushing in the door. Oh, what's happening here, princess? Is it time for you? Is it time for you to get changed? Hmm. Sort of lost the player. Gentle Beatrix, will you help her? Yes, sir. Oh, there is something I must give you, princess. Hmm. Sounds right about right. Opal, Topaz, Amethyst. Those stones contain your power, which came born forcibly. Well, let us all in the past. Hmm, I guess I have all my Eidolons back again. I hope you're liking the uh, new audio setup. Master Steiner. Master Steiner, do you intend to stay here and watch? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, excuse me. Right, audio setup. I moved a few things around. I actually moved to the other side of the room. So I don't get any of that horrible echo that makes it sound low quality. Beatrix, I'd like to see Sedane, please. Now may not be a good time. Even you agree with Steiner. <laughs> Your Highness. I know, it's okay. Hmm. It seems like she doesn't seem it's okay. Oh, whoops. Eh. Guess the walls. Oh, there you go. With that girl of that picture, now's my chance to win Zidane's heart. First, I'll write him a love letter. I'm gonna make it the most romantic letter ever written. Oh, that was quite the sun transition. Becoming a queen makes place quite a burden on Princess Gaunt. But she must persevere. Her people are Alexandria watching, after all. He looks pretty smart. Yes, he does. Hey, you look like the bookish type. Ho oh, ho ho. What well, give you that impression? You really want me to explain? Oh, yes, I'm very curious. Where should I start? First, your beard. Second, your nerdy hat. But why do you call it nerdy? Third, your thick eyeglasses. All signs of a nerdy philosopher. Ho oh, ho ho. You don't hold back, do you? Hey, are you a rider? Well, yes, I didn't make my living as a rider for a while. Will you let me write a letter? A letter? Hmm, gladly if you think I can be of assistance. Okay then, follow me. Follow me. Follow, follow. <laughs> That girl has a horn. That horn. Seems like he's connecting the dots. I had completely forgot about it until now. I never been surprised. Surprises was that day. A shape drifted in a shore and the storm inside the ship were a woman and a baby girl. The woman was dead, but the girl was still breathing. Not to my surprise as I looked in the girl's face. Because a girl looked exactly like Princess Garnet, who had just passed away. Huh. With one exception, she had a horn. A human with a horn. 
Where did you come from? The king ordered the girl's horn removed. The girl cried out in pain. He and his wife came round the side to raise the girl's princess garnet. But that girl who spoke to me, could she be related to Princess Garnet? Why, the inquiries and mysteries of the world. Hey, will you hurry it up? Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Looks like he has connected the dots now. Princess, you look splendid. This marriage? This a bridal dress? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, there is something I must tell you, Beatrix. Yes, Princess. I am not my mother's... I mean, Queen Braun is not my real mother. Princess Garnet. Dr. Tot has already informed us. However, my al al allegiance to you remains the same, if not stronger. Hmm, quite beautiful. Beatrix, Beatrix, thank you. Alright, we never did beat Beatrix ever, did we? It's finished! The thing will fall in love with me uh, the instant he reads this letter. Thanks, mister. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. It was my pleasure, lady. My lady. Oh, I forgot to tell you. My name's Eiko. I'm from Medain Suri. I hope to see you again. Bye bye. Medain Suri. Oh, where have I heard this name before? There is a summoners. But I thought it was only a legend. What does this mean? Hmm. Unless the game, unless the game's finishing up, which I don't think it really is. We still have yet to defeat Kuja, after all. It's about halfway. Point. Where am I going? This ain't in town. It's about halfway point, no? Oh, I can't wait to hand this letter to Zidane. Where did he go, anyways? Oh, one second. Somebody's calling me. Okay, got that done. Ah! Ah! Help! Help! Hi! Are you okay? C can't breathe! Sorry I didn't see you jump out. But you're too high up. I can't get you down. Whoa! <laughs> Stop laughing, you poop! Oh, shoot. My letter. Hey, if you can't get me down... Deliver that letter to Zidane. Alright? To Zidane? Yeah, no problem. Whoa. <laughs> oh, not again. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, she should probably get a better shirt or whatever. Try Overalls, yes. Get some better overalls. Alright, the bell ain't here, here yet. Castle patrol complete. Completed. Huh? Why? If it isn't Buck, the leader of Tantalus. We'll just call my name. Oh, see you. Shall we capture him? No, he saved my life. You may go. I will handle this. Yes, sir. I gave him a cleaner voice, didn't I? I ain't such a knucklehead anymore, huh? Silence! This is no place for thieves. You must leave now. So that's how it is, huh? Do I gotta remind you that one of my boys saved your kingdom? But bet you ain't got no ears for listening to a low life like me. Are you talking about Zidane? Yes, he did protect the princess and her kingdom. But that doesn't change the fact that you are all still thieves. I cannot let your kind roam about the castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Well, I don't got any reasons to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where name might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we've returned. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two about proper manners. 
Okay, I got your point. I've heard enough of your self righteousness. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect timing. Shouldn't there be a jump there? Take me to the town. And the letter just stayed there. Until. General Beatrix came walking through the gardens, having seen the discussion and the piece of paper to Fluna. Ah, so it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. <sighs> Alexander is at peace again, yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Lacking in love might be my guess. Hmm? Steiner must have dropped this. <laughs> oh my. Wonder what type of understanding this will cause. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall wait you at the dock. What is this letter? Did Steiner... Oh, for her? Write me a love letter? Yes, oh my. Steiner. She is still a lady, after all. And very ladylike at that, surprisingly, for a general. Dagger. Are you all cozy on your throne already? No. No, no, no. I can't start my day with a dagger, a smile, a voice. A voice is like a beautiful song, and the song makes me soar high into the sky. But now, you can still fly high, darling. You can still fly high, darling. Who's talking? Suzanne, so you can do it. She's, she's right. Why are you still moping? This is like you at all. Yeah. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Long time no see the What happened? You look upset. Boss, let me join Tantalus again. We can still treasure together, just like the good old times. Treasure, eh? There ain't much treasure lying about in this world, boy. Besides. But Tannis always gets what he sets his eyes on. That's our rule number one, remember? No, you don't. You got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't even capture a canary, you ain't got what it takes to join Tantalus. Boss. Boss. Uh, hey, Zidane, can we go see Dagger? <laughs> Why well, can't you be more honest, like this little guy? If you didn't notice I was voice asking as it ain't like he was drunk. Can we can we? Please? Alright. Let's see her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah. And now we're playing as a dane. What a carrier change, huh? Last night play with great. I'm sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I've seen this before. Alright. Oh, Nothing over here. Oh, yes, there is something over here. Potion. Meh. And now I presume we go to see. Dagger. Oh. I forgot! Ah, oh, that Tantalus guy. The Boku. Darn. I forgot to give the thing there later. Huh? 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 Whoa, I lost it. Well, quite misunderstanding there. 
Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll go see Dagger at the castle with the boat in front, I guess. That's the only logical reasons. Logic, logic, logic. Let me try saying that again. It's the only logic. We get, we get in the boat, and we go to the castle. Easy as that. That thing doesn't even stop to. Mm. Oh dear, what, what, what was her voice like again? <coughs> that thing doesn't even stop by to say hello. What are you staying at? Mm. Are you really that tough? Try me. I don't get go. I don't go looking for trouble. But I'll fight back if trouble finds me. Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Ha! Huh. Stop right there now, or I will charge both of you with disorderly conduct. Ugh. Hey, what's going on here? Zidane. I'd love to stop and talk, but I'm busy right now. Hmm, is she a friend of yours? Then tell her who I am, and tell her I'm the amazing flaming amarant. Sorry man, she's just a little worked up about something. Sorry babe, they're my friends. Will you let them go for my sake? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, Prince Agarnak has to give her special treatment. Sure, Prince Agarnak has us to give special treatment to you, Master Vivi and Miss Freya. Dagger? Uh, I see, thank you. Hey Freya, stop being so mad, alright? Do you know why I'm really mad? It's because of you. Where have you been? Dagger is about to become queen and you're off wandering about. Have you found out anything about Morakuja? Bad grammar. Well, answer me. Um... Well, you see the thing is, well, I tried to find more info but... I was weeping at the bar, heartbroken. Look, if Kuja was responsible for taking Dagger's eight lawns and killing Braun, who was working with him, don't you think he'd come after Dagger again? Hmm. I know. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. Besides, she's gonna be queen. She'll have all the guards she'll need. She won't need me. But Zidane, I think Dagger wants to see you. So, let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Zidane, Zidane. You're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. See yourself. Oh, music's calm. The boat's here. Can't wait to get on that boat. Oh, right, let's take a look at our party. And equip any other such things. Oh, my, that's a horrible level 22. Yeesh. Equip any other such things that might be needed for this adventure in 1, 2, 3. And I guess that has been it for organizing my party. Go to the castle? Yes, I want to go to the castle. Now, that's been a little break for you, about approximately a few frames, but for me it's been about 20-ish minutes while I went to get lunch. Dinner? What time is it? Yeah, I went to get dinner. It was nice, homemade burgers. Four of them. I'm quite the glutton for meats, any type of meat really. I like myself. Actually, I haven't ever tried sheep meat, or is it called veal, or what's it called anyway? Never really tried that. Never have tried that, not really tried. And as you can see, I'm a bit more talkative ever with a few food in my belly. But of course, who isn't with energy to spare and calories to burn through to make sure the fat doesn't stick. At the very least, it won't stick to my face. If it sticks to my belly, well, nothing new there. Wait, this is new. What's this? <clears throat> you can reach the harbor by riding the Neptune statue. Excuse me? Riding the Neptune statue. 
Is there something? Would you like to go to the harbor? Yes. Teleportation? Oh no. It just goes down. Strange, strange. Never seen this side of Alexander Castle before. You can reach our castle by writing the Neptune statue. Okay, but what's over here? Well, what's over here? there? And here as well. <clears throat> huh, strange. Interesting. Never been here before. <clears throat> the rose cannot f can't fly because there is no mist. Oh, I see there's uh, the harbor. Restricted access. I'm pretty sure there, there were supposed to be more, a few more words than that. I'm speaking rather lightly now. Well, it isn't good to burn through all of the energy at once. And shouting well from my throat at, as from my throat is... Well, I, actually, I should have to fairly be speaking from my diaphragm. <clears throat> Let me sit up straight. Okay, that should do it a little bit better. So I don't sound too high pitched in my voice. As I was saying, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit uh, more taxing to speak from the throat rather than the mouth or the diaphragm. Because well, the throat you exercise the vocal cords more, more so. The diaphragm and reverberates throughout the chest. Well, yeah, that's the chest, and it, and uh, becomes a little bit deeper. What's this? Lapis lazuli. Another gem, I presume, but yeah. Well, I also, th I also think it in part it's the music, rather calming. Well, never been here before, hopefully that wasn't locked at the beginning. But yeah, that's it for um, the gardens outside, I guess. No, wait, I'm just entering the, the entrance, the castle's entrance. Let go, ah, let go, let go, let go. Ouch. This is no way to treat a lady. Quit screaming, or I'll throw you into the dungeon. Gah! What happened, Aiko? Zidane! Oh, it was horrible! He called me a liar, and, lo and a low mouth and, and a brat! Mm, he's right. What did you just say? Do you want to repeat that? Man, I hate kids. Calm down, little one. What is your name? Me? I'm Eiko. Eiko, Carol of Madain Sari. Carol, huh? From Madain Sari? Why? I've never heard of it. Don't you know anything? Madain Sari is a... Silence! What are y'all doing here? This is the royal castle. You do not belong here. Hello, Mr. Si Hello, Mr. Siner. Did you ever forget us? Master Vivi, it is a pleasure to see you again. We came here to see Dagger. The princess... Hmm. If that is Master Vivi's wish, I, sh I shall arrange a meeting. Well, that was rather easy. Thought I'd have to go through. M thought I had. I'd have to go through a few more steps. You all right? Y'all, you, y'all wait right here. Please pardon the shortcut. Oh, well, at least we know what it looks like from the side. Princess, we are ready. Same dress. Bridal dress? Yep, yep. Yes, it is. Is this supposed to be represent- Oop, there goes my earbud. Uh, what was I saying? Well, never mind that. Thank you for coming, everyone. She looks beautiful. Wow, you look beautiful. Splendid. Zidane? Zidane? Have you nothing to say? Uh, 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 no, no. Princess, we must now go. I really mess up on my grammar, don't I? Zidane. Why? Hmm. All right. Dagger, wait. Dad, 
Dagger, is this the last time we're ever gonna see each other? Oh no, of course not. I won't be able to wander around the world with you anymore. But I'll never forget our journey together. Dagger. I want us to remain good rivals forever. Rivals? Eiko, you say funny things sometimes. Oh, there are some things I want to give you. Let's trade the jewels as a symbol of our friendship. Very queen-like, no? Two of my jewels. Two of my jewels. Goodbye, Eiko. It seems like a setup. Well, not, not this, not Steiner, Garnet, and Beatrix, but... Like, Kusha's gonna go come in swooping anyone with the steel... The steel dagger. I hope I'm wrong. And it's a little bit more original than that. Why did you say anything to her, Zidane? I don't know. I tried, I... And? I... I couldn't say anything. I had a whole speech ready for her. But it would have been a lie. How could I lie to her? Good luck, Dagger. I'll be watching you from afar. Come and find me if you need someone to talk to. It's a big fat lie. That's not how I feel at all. That's not how I feel at all. I think I'm getting rather good with voice acting now. Maybe I should go into acting. <laughs> so, there's room. There's only room for a dagger in Zidane's heart. I wish I hadn't written that stupid letter. Zidane looks so sad. Isn't there anything I can do for him? Ah! Zidane! I hate you! You incessant- you incessant- you in oh. You insensitive fool! You don't even know how I feel. I feel bad about ditching him, but I really don't feel like seeing him tonight. I gotta hide before he shows up. Shoot. Someone's coming. Could it be Zidane? Let's see, Beatrix is coming. On the presumption that Steiner's coming. Oh, and these two are also here, apparently. There's no one here, bro. Let me fix up the cables. Okay. No one here. Oh, no one here, bro. I guess I'm early. Maybe. I wonder who wrote me that love letter. That, that love letter has sure been getting around. Well, just read the letter. I bet she's beautiful. Really? Are you sure you didn't write it yourself? <laughs> it's Dr. Todd that wrote it. Keep it in mind. I mean, you got the letter falling from the floor above you, right? Boy, that thing has sure been making the rounds. I'm telling you, she was too shy to hand it to me to hand the letter to me her my, my, myself. And if you don't think I'm a ladies' man, you're wrong. Chicks are intimidated by good-looking guys. That's why. Someone's coming. Marcus, don't interrupt me while I'm talking. That's I, bro. All right, all right. Did he get up there too? I must tie them a security around the castle from now on. Does the dawn rain or shine, I must patrol the castle. Right, clear. Left, clear. Huh? It's a piece of paper. This looks like a letter. Let's see. When the night sky wears... When the night sky where, where's the moon as it's and it I oh, shall await you at a at a dock. You know I might actually steal that line if I ever am in need to write a love letter. Yeah I'm just getting I'm just getting fa fantasies left and right. My my imagination is going wild. My goodness! This is a, this is a love letter! Who wrote it to whom? Put it. Hmm. No address or address C. Did someone drop it here, knowing that I would pass by? Who could have it been? Oh my. Is this what they call the red string of fate? Diner. Be Beatrix. W was it you? I'm some. Are, are they in love? Bro, shh, quiet. 
Steiner. Beatrix. Oh, what's gonna happen? Mama, my nose is bleeding. And stick your thumb up. That's you! <laughs> oh, look how Beatrix fell. Boss! Boss! Really, they. Oh, yeah, you totally ruined the scene. Well, now everybody's coming out to party, ain't it? <laughs> That's one of the best scenes I've ever seen in this game. I love it. That's the Dane. Where did he go? Hmm. Who knows? Hmm. I'll go look for him. Oof! Ah! Hey, watch it! I am not in a good mood right now. Stay on my way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have you seen a young lady named Mabel? Oh. It's a nerdy guy. Ha ha ha. You're as energetic as ever. Yep, I'm always energetic. But I'm acting but I'm actually hurting on the inside from being really, really that bluntly. Did you say something? Did you say something? No, I didn't. Didn't you come here to talk to me about something? Oh yes, I almost forgot. Your village, uh, what was the name again? Um Madame Sri. Yes, yes, I want to ask you a few questions about my dancery. Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. You help me out. But why don't we get to your place? We can relax there. To my home? I almost look in Treno. It's a bit far from here. Treno? Sounds like a cool place. I'm really interested in sightseeing. I want to go there. I'm coming with you. Who's talking? Yep. There's a card game tournament going on in Treno right now. Really? I'm going to that? I want to participate. Well, I don't. The card game tournament? That sounds fun. I want to go too. I'd like to go too as well. Hmm. Fenno, huh? Oh, oh, oh. the party this is becoming. It would be my pleasure. We shall go all the way to Fenno. I'm guessing we're gonna skip traveling by cutscene, right? Hmm, yes, all oh, the gargants. There's still mist here. Kinda looks like the Aoife tree before we got rid of the mist. I don't think the mist is as dense as it was before. Yes, I heard of that you all stopped the mist. The mist permeated through the roots. That's probably why the still lingers here. Hmm. This is a gargant? Looks a bit character look a little the character look a little, little English. Yes, tell me go. The carriage looks a little bit too small. That's what I was trying to say. Clowns on the Dark Knight. Oh, I know which clowns they're referring to. But which Dark Knight? Where, where, when, how, why? Let's see if I remember the voices. No one is here! Nope, that sounds too whiny. Is no one here, really? Yes! Sounds a bit better. Sure, you are about that? That is enough! There we go. Now, what do we do? We are going to ask Princess Garnet if we can return to the castle. Return to the castle? Can we really? I will not know until... <gasps> we must hide! Ooh, music's catchy. Looks like no one's around here. Yeah. I guess this is about the only thing we can do for Sedane. Keep up the night watch and preserve Alexandria's peace. Yeah, I think so too. What a peaceful night. It's almost scary. Okay, let's finish our round. Alright. That was close. Now what? 
We can't stay as long as those meddlers are here. We must leave Alexandria. <laughs> well, at least they're not in like Oh, but they might be headed to Trent now. That will be a problem, uh, won't it? Actually, how long have I been recording? I never knew about this secret passage. I apologize for the lack of space. Yep, the carriage was small. It's fine. Or maybe here. Hey, Amaranth, have you been here before? Mm. Mm. What about you? Okay. Me? I've been to every place where there are beautiful women. <laughs> Can we talk about Medinsuri later? I want to go sightseeing. Of course, there's no hurry. There is hurry apparently now. That seems like a flag. What are you staring at? Let's go! Oh, who, who? Me? Me? Yes, you. This is my first time in Treno. Show me around. Then I shall go as well. I'll take this chance to relax. What about you, Amaranth? Hmm. I don't understand him. You know, today's the last day for the car game over registration. Well, uh, then I better be going. I'm a skilled cop, please let me know if you need any assistance. Hey, I'm not so out of practice, I need your help, I'm actually not in practice at all. I see, good luck. Oh, active time of it. Echo, talk to life, talk to life. Ooh, uh, Vivi? Of course. Um, why didn't you... Why didn't I invite the thing? Uh, yeah. Those two are thick like bricks. They don't realize how, how they feel about one another until they're apart. What do you mean? Ah, you big dope! Okay, listen carefully. Zidane really likes Dagger. But Zidane wants to act cool, so they misunderstand each other and end up fighting. Now, do you understand? Uh, not, not really. Zidane won't stop acting cool in front of me either. It's so hopeless. Hey, what's that? Is that a card stadium? Uh, hey, wait, 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 don't leave me behind. She's gone. Hi, you're... Huh? That sounds like trouble. Why don't you play some people before the tournament begins and collect some better cards? If you run low on cards, I will give you some of mine. They are surely better than mine, I assure you. Well, I could keep going, it's only been an hour. Oh, he ended up here. That sounds like Vivi. That sounds surely like Vivi. I never expected to run into you again. Oh, is that the guy at the bar? The, the, the inn? Um, thank you for your help, uh, for your help on the airship. Airship. Well, that can I? Hey, no worries. My master's a good man. Anyone else would have refused. What the hell are we talking about? The cargo ship in uh, Limlum? You should thank my master. He's the one who agreed to take you to Alexandria for free. Oh, this is before the story began. Yeah. So, how's the play? Did you like it? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't there an accident during the show? Were you okay? Oh, um, well, yeah, I, I was okay. Good. Well, I gotta get back to work. Hey, don't, don't we live, you don't live in a treno? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, that cave we found earlier a few episodes. Your family must be worried. Go home soon. See ya. <laughs> no family to speak of. Quite ironic. Uh, <sighs> but Grandpa's gone. Stop by a home or stay in Treno? Let's stop by a home. Well, since I'm so close to home, I might as well stop by. Uh, should I continue or should I not? Uh, I think this is the end of the episode for today. Yeah, seems about it. Well, anyhow. <coughs> anyhow, I do hope you have enjoyed this 19th. Wow, we're getting we're getting real far along the series. The game, however, I think we're about uh, half or way or two thirds of the way through. Yeah, I sure hope it's two thirds. I want. I don't want to exactly make forty episodes. I plan for thirty. <clears throat> anyway, 
I do hope you've had a lovely episode today with me, your host and narrator of the one and only legendary gaming dragon. I do hope you've had a nice day, if you don't, if you haven't, I hope you have a nice day from here on out. Right, let's pray, I forgot about that. <laughs> let's pray. Thank you God for everything that you've done for us. Thank you for our, our life, our home, our shelter, the people around us, the food. Everything that we use on a daily basis and today, even if not on a daily basis. Please help us grow into holy men. Please help us with our problems. Please help us with everything else as well. Thank you for everything. Amen. Well, now that was a rather short one, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Let me turn up the volume again. That was a rather short one, wasn't it? And now I do believe that with that, that is the end of this episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to help the channel out and help this video succeed algorithm-wise. Without, without further ado, goodbye and see you around.